Hey everyone, uh, welcome to IT1150 Intro to Web Programming. I'm James Leisure, I'm your instructor for this semester. Um, this semester we'll be using an ID called replit.com um, and I wanted to go over some basics with you about what replit is. So replit is uh, fully online, you don't have to install anything on your computer. And what's nice is uh, the sharing ability. So, you know, we can use Visual Studio Code or Visual Studio, or I mean, there are so many Atom, uh, there are so many different um, IDEs. I'm sure you may have your favorite already. Um, what's nice about Replit, though, is the ability to share files. So if you have a question, you can ask me, and we can both be in, in your REPL. That's your, basically your copy of a project um, for the class. And we can see where each other is typing in the file at the same time. Uh, you can uh, tag questions inside of the file, and then I can later respond to it. I'll get a no notification by email. Um, so there's just some really nice features available for sharing. So um, if you haven't already uh, created a replit.com account, just go to replit.com. Here's the URL, replit.com. And when you go to the homepage, if you're not logged in already, you'll see a button in the top right-hand corner. Uh, there's a login button and a sign up button. Click on the sign up button, and if you could, uh, use your full name as the username. So you can see that my username is James Leisure One. Um, so if you could use your full first and last name, add a number if you need to at the end. And then for your email address, I'd like you to use your Tri C email address. So that would be your S number at acad.tri-c.edu. Um, if you use your Tri-C email address and full username, it's going to make it much easier for me to find your files when you submit it. So this is the uh, replit.com screen once you've logged in. And uh, most of our work is going to be under Teams. So you can see here's uh, a list of teams that I belong to. Um, so how do you get, how do you join our team for the semester? Well. There's two different ways. One is to go to notifications, and you'll see something like this. So you have been invited to join, and I'm just gonna click on this arrow, and I've already done it, so I think it's not gonna uh, do anything special there, but uh, once you click on that notification, it'll jump into the team, and you'll see something like this. So this is our team homepage. Um, it, this semester might change if you're taking it during a different semester, but it would be something like this. The semester code, so it would be like um, SP for spring, SU for summer, or FA for fall. The year. Uh, the first four characters of your instructor's last name. So for me, uh, my last name is Leisure, so it's L-E-A-S. And then this is the course ID that you're taking. Um, and then you'll see a list of all of our projects. And this is where all the work's gonna be done for you. So I have uh, one lab listed, and I'm logged on as a student at the moment. So it's like I'm taking the class, and I'm gonna click on Start Project. And when I click on Start Project, Replit.com actually makes a copy of the files that I've provided for you as an instructor. It creates a copy into your account. So now you can work on this file, and when you're done, you're gonna click Submit, and it'll submit it in replit.com to me. And then there's one last step. I want you to take the URL from your replit. So this is a, uh, a URL that shows the file that I'm currently working on. And if I copy it, I can then paste it into my Blackboard section. Um, if I can jump over to that. So in my Blackboard lab then, um, oh, I don't have the lab. Let me go to a different lab. So in my Blackboard section, if I click on the lab name, 
there's this comment section and I'm just going to paste my URL and then click submit and that's all I want you to do in Blackboard but you have to do this piece in order to get a grade uh, otherwise I have nothing in Blackboard to attach it to so uh, I will come back to that let's go back to Replit though so here's lab one what what is Replit doing here well here's my team this is the lab that I'm in so if I go to the team I see lab one continue working this takes it into my copy of lab one and here are the files that I've included in the project so sometimes you might see an image file or an image directory you might see a JavaScript file or a cascading style sheet um, in this uh, example uh, we just have some um, like an HTML outline and I'm just going to indent it you, don't, you can do it either way and what we can do is click run and it takes this HTML document and renders it on the right side so um, if you're not familiar with HTML at this point um, HTML is a rendered language it's interpreted it's not a compiled language so the browser is going to read what we have in source code and then uh, HTML just HTML and CSS just describe the way that it is going to appear inside of the rendered web browser version um, and that's all it is so what I want you to do for the uh, first lab is I just want you to format this document so um, you'll discover some elements as you're reading the book one is a paragraph element so I could surround this with a paragraph and notice that it just adds some white space around the top and bottom of that I could make it bold with the bold tag and the close bold tag and I want you to answer the questions so two, two things I want you to answer the questions and as you're doing that also format the way the output looks and you don't have to do a lot uh, there's no requirements around adding CSS or anything like that I just want you to make the question stand out from the answer and I want you to add some space around each question so that it appears easy to read. Um, so this is actually what I've done for question one would be sufficient for lab one. Uh, the second purpose of lab one is really to make sure that you're able to get into Replit, they're able to submit the assignment. So I'm gonna go ahead and submit my assignment even though I'm not done. I'll click submit. You can go back in and resubmit in Replit but be careful that doesn't mean you can resubmit it to me in Blackboard um, so be aware of that uh, I don't accept uh, resubmitted labs for points after a lab has been graded okay so then I'm going to take this URL it's already been submitted in replit.com and I can see that I can still come back here and, and click continue working and that's fine and so I'm going to go back over to Blackboard. This is not Lab 2, obviously, but I'm going to go ahead and click uh, in the comments box, paste in my URL, and then click Submit. And that's really what I want you to get through in this, uh, in this lesson, is I just want you to set the Replit account up, answer the questions in the lab. So there's just a few questions here. And let's start practicing the HTML a little bit. So add some elements. Make sure that we're aware of nesting. So, you know, if we have an element which consists of a start tag and a close tag, and that is wrapped inside of um, another paragraph, say, or some some other uh, element, we need to make sure that we close it in the right order. Um, start to look at the different types of tags. So there's a container tag like this paragraph, uh, this paragraph tag. Oh, and here's an example of nesting. We've got the bold tag falling within the paragraph. 
So you wouldn't want to close the bold after the closed paragraph. And you're welcome to use indenting to show that. So now all of this is inside of the paragraph tag. All of this is inside the bold uh, element, I'm sorry. Uh, and an element is just an open and close tag, or it could be a standalone tag like break, which does not need a closed tag. And, and W3Schools, the resource there, is a great one to practice each of the uh, tags. Okay, so I just wanted to give you a really quick intro to replit.com. Make sure you get in there. Oh yeah, run as often as you can as you're writing code. Um, and make sure that you can submit it in Replit and submit it in Blackboard. And if you can't, uh, please contact me as quickly as possible so we can work through it. Um, oh, and by the way, if you don't see the notification for our team, so if you go here and you don't see a notification, check your email. You should see uh, an invitation sent to your email. All right, thanks. Good luck getting started.